Norwalk's Democrats met Tuesday night to, among other things, nominate a candidate for mayor. Take on Moshe and put him down. Vinny had the most successful fundraising quarter of all candidates. Andy speaks for himself. After eight separate votes, they could not name one. No candidate could jump up the majority 18 votes needed to grab the party's nomination, and so all four will petition for a primary election in September. The turn of events uh, definitely are not what expected coming in tonight. Not sure how long that would have taken, uh, but we liked our chances to get the, to secure the nomination here tonight. We're not going to let party insiders pick the Democratic nominee. We're going to allow the people to pick the Democratic nominee. We would have been here all night long, and it still would have been the same outcome, vote after vote after vote. After several hours, it became clear there was a voting stalemate. With 35 DTC members voting, Harry Rilling was stuck at 16 votes, Vinnie Mangiacopper at 15, and Matt McClave and Andy Garfunkel to a piece. Unfortunately, we couldn't have come to some terms ahead of time uh, to have resolved some of this before we got here and all be unified uh, coming out of a convention. One group of people that support Mr. Rilling wanted to make sure that Vinnie didn't become the nominee, and one group of people that supported Mr. Mangiacopra wanted to make sure that Harry wasn't the nominee. Uh, so it was really a vote against a candidate rather than a vote for an idea. It seemed that it was a collective strategy amongst some of the other opponents uh, to have a no vote. It wasn't a vote against anybody. It was a vote for somebody, and again, we were deadlocked, and. Hey, so now the voters decide. Eventually, DTC Chair Amanda Brown and others called the Secretary of the State's office for advice. Former Mayor Alex Knott motioned to adjourn soon after. We would um, do the motion to adjourn and then, you know, uh, let the public make the decision, which we could not make ourselves based on the numbers. All four candidates will now have three weeks to file a petition for a September 10th primary. Brown said each will need about 850 signatures to appear on the ballot. We should leave it to the, to the voters out, out in the general public or the Democratic voters uh, to choose the candidate when it became such a crowded field. Registered Democrats, it's time for them to decide. We want to be a positive message for change in Norwalk. That's what my candidacy is about. We like our chances in the September primary, and we definitely like our chances to replace Mayor Motion in the mayor's office come November. Mike Peel, it's relevant.com.